Lou, welcome to the channel, brother. Good, welcome everyone. How are we? I am good, good bro. Listen, yeah. this is a stunning car. Thank uh, you. Seen it in pictures, up close and personal. Looks yep. 10 10. What colour did you say this was? Uh, Hockenham Silver. Is that a rare uh, colour? No, it's, just... it's not really. I mean, they are hard to come by in this colour because it's a. I think it's Optus Rexo when you order it from BMW. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's, a, it's more of a harder colour to get with. Uh, but no. I feel like the uh, the end performance stickers that might break up, that might yes. give it that edge. Yeah, maybe. maybe. That's why it's yeah, like... to be fair, I didn't I didn't purchase a car with that on them. Okay. Uh, I see a car in Germany uh, with the stickers on them, and I inquired to BMW myself about getting a set. Uh -huh. They sent a, a, a set over from Germany, and I had it fitted when the PPF was done. So six, six, yeah, six. it really sets the car off. <laughs> one of the fastest M2 competitions right now in the country. Yes. Very, very close to the fastest, right? Yes, 5.12 is uh, a tune up north. Uh, I managed to get a 5.13 last weekend in a bit of damp conditions. Mate, so, so it's a hundredth of a second off. Hundred, yeah, it's, it's really close. I mean, I hope in the dry days before she goes, I can hopefully uh, crack that five seconds. I'm so. sure you can, I'm sure you can. Right, M2 comp. Uh, 2018, 6 plate, uh, full spec, minus the sunroof. I didn't feel that was an option needed. Uh, exhaust, catalyst downpipes, Miltec, OPF, centre section, uh, stock, rear of the car. Uh, turbos, TT 740 plus turbos, running them at about 27, 28 psi. Uh, it's about two bar. Really, we're near enough there unless we get to a, a fuel flex and we run E85, but at the minute we're, we're on a 99 run. It's one an ECU tech map, race one, so I've got switchable maps to run through it. And as I said prior, the last video, I've got XHP gearbox trim on the car. Uh, methanol, we've got a port and charge meth kit. Uh, we've got a cooling mist pump. We are controlling it canvas via WE engineering touchscreen LCD display on the car. Uh, Eventuri carbon intakes on it. Apart from that, we're in enough there. That's it, that's it. So we're out in this crazy 710 brake horsepower BMW M2 competition and um, also what people would be interested to know is obviously I guess this this engine is shared with the M3s which are coming down in price yes these are a little bit more money yes um, or the M4s also which shares the engine with but like obviously this build is, is bro it's making crazy power do you mind kind of touching roughly on what it might have cost you uh, the build itself I mean with with, with all that the car I'm roughly at about 80 grand no with the car oh with the car with okay. the car uh, mods uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I know WG really well. Uh, I'm not always really say, say a sponsor, but he always looked after me in regards to the cost of things. Yeah. Uh, you got to think, the things with these cars are not cheap. Turbos are like, what, five, six grand yeah, yeah. exchange. You've got exhaust parts, uh, crane carbons, a lot of labour charge on it as well. I'd say I'm roughly about 30 grand in. Wow. So, but you've got a 710 brake horsepower. Yes. One of the fastest M2s in the UK right now. Yes. Um, M2 comps. And, um, Bro, it's a sitcom. So it's yeah, a lovely yeah, car. You've know, got to pay to play. So one map, I'd imagine. No, I've got four switchable maps. Okay. Uh, I've got an XHP gearbox tune on it as well. Okay. The clutches. Uh, I can control the maps through the. I can't show the view yeah, of this yeah, part. Yeah. <laughs> through there, we've got a uh, low torque, high power map. Uh, we've got a full out map without meth, yeah. uh, a full meth map and stock power. Cool. So I've got 410 horsepower. Okay. Uh, but well, we want a 710. Yeah, of course you do. I mean, we're not, we're, we're not, it's about 400 horsepower, are we? So. <laughs> All right, cool. Traction off too. Traction completely off, yeah. Oh, cool. Like, I mean the roads are quite, like, quite 
quite dry now, yeah. but from second gear, it still does look up. We, we, we slipped a bit in second, mm. getting a bit into third, we was all right, we hooking. Mate, this is... It's not bad. Yeah. I know, this right. gets down though, isn't it? Yeah, it gets going. What? <laughs> Guys, yeah, this is definitely, sick. Definitely. This is sick. And obviously, you, you were saying earlier, it's got like a LSD from factory in these two. Yeah, well, it's obviously it's the rear diff they, that, that they put in the car. Yeah. Obviously, with uh, I've gone slightly wider tyres, so it scrubs a little bit on the rear, because the M, I think, I've done quite on these guys. I think the M3, M4 come with 275 or 285 on the rear, right. uh, and they put 265 on these. So I'm running 285 on the rear, so another oh, yeah. 20 million. Pierce Royces? Pierce Royces, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, just to try and help the grip a little bit. Yeah, no, for real. Straight. <laughs> oh my god, so it does step on you. That's fourth, yeah. That is insane. It on. seems that way. That's sort of what we went for. Like I said to Warren, I, I want to reach like the 700 horsepower figure. Like, mm. I want a fast car. Yeah. But obviously, when I was younger, back getting 700 horsepower in a two litre, it was a massive turbo. Of course. Which meant you either on the power or nothing. Yeah. So, like I said, we didn't go for the pures. Uh, went for the TT7 four wheels, and we've kept the drivability and still managed to make a really fast car. Tapping out. Um, <laughs> yeah, this this is. Uh, you just got to know. You got to sort of read the road ahead. Yeah, because, of course. Slight damp conditions, changing gear is when it, it's snappy too, it's right? They are yeah, very yeah. snappy with these. Do you do you basically run? So when I had my M3, I remember if you run your gearbox in the most aggressive mode, it was too snappy, and that was what used to catch people out. That's why people were writing them off. It would change gear going around a corner. And the gearbox map makes it worse. Because it loads, it loads, it loads a lot more torque through the clutches. Got you. So when you go into the next gear, you, you've got you've got more power there, yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. and that's where it can get a bit. I mean, on a slippery road, third into fourth, second into third, third into fourth is yeah. where it's a bit nasty. Obviously, higher the gear, it's not too sad. And that's what I mean, like, these kind of cars, especially high-powered rear-wheel drive cars, especially the M3, I feel like they kind of, they separate the drivers from the non-drivers, yes. if that makes sense. Yeah. You, like, I mean, all my life, I've had, I mean, I've had a, a Mark 1 RS was 450 horsepower, then I went to an FK2 type R that okay. I went to Nürburgring in and then Mount Mark Lapse in. A rear-wheel drive car is different. You, different, you can't different. drive this yeah, like yeah. that. No, well, you can't. Like, you, you've got a lot of people who hop out of four-wheel drive fast golf, golf cars and that, hop yeah, into yeah, one yeah, of these, yeah, these, and they bin it yeah, straight course. away, because yeah. you, you couldn't, you can't drive this the no, same. You, can't. Like, you know what I mean? No, especially this power. Yeah. This is, guys, this is, this is, yeah, it's mad. <laughs> Time is the gassed up zero to sixties with the V box performance box touch. Now today, bro, this is pretty much a pointless exercise. Still, f it, we we'll send it. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't swear. Sorry. It's alright. He's been, he's probably been beeped a few times today. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Passion and that. Yeah. Um. So, guys, um, yeah, pointless exercise simply because the roads are pretty damn damp. The big, the, the bigger roads have been nice and dry, but uh, our zero to sixty roads, um, obviously, um, they haven't caught much sun today, so very slippery. Out of interest, what do you reckon it's going to hit? Uh, as in, what it would hit or what it's going to hit today? What it's going to hit today? About six. Six, you reckon it'll be that size? Do you know what? I, although that sounds crazy to people, I reckon it's going to be about the same, and I, I reckon half of that's going to be sideways. Of course. Just <laughs> trying to put the, uh, the power, to put down. power down. <laughs> would you reckon in the dry this would be able to do? Oh, I wouldn't know because I've never tried it. My car at 640 brake horsepower, my M3, slightly 
bigger, maybe a little bit heavier. Who knows? Yeah. Um, I think I used to be able to get into the freeze. Did so you? yeah, yeah. Really? So I would assume the the did, right did tires. Did you grip first in that? Did you grip them first? Uh, using launch control, and it was so you know launch I've control on these, bro. Yep. It's so temperamental. I've never even used it. Yeah, it lets you in when when it wants to. Uh, it let me in. The stars aligned, and I think I got a three point seven. But um, oh, for today, I think as I say, a bit of a pointless exercise, but we're gonna do it for the culture. Of course we are. Let's go. Content. All right, guys. So it was his first attempt. Roads are super slippery. Um, traction control on. Yeah, <laughs> traction control on. MDM. MDM. Ready? Whenever you're ready. Let's go. Okay. 16. Bro, that was a 4.67. <laughs> he done a 4.67. I think there was a little bit of roll on before you started. Yeah, I didn't kick You know what I mean? The back end was kind of stepping out, but the traction control was working overtime. Look. It, we said sick, I said sick. You know what I mean? So we, we've, we've done a lot better than we thought we would. I'll put the leaderboard up now anyway. It's just for, for a bit of a laugh. Yeah. He's still tried. And guys, let me tell you, this, this road we're on right now is very slippery. 4.67. That's actually quite admirable. That. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> just imagine what we could do in a dry. Yeah. I mean, I put it on low talk map because otherwise it would have been worse. Leave yeah. on MDM and that's the best we got. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, this is a madness. It's a madness. We've got a driver here too. But as I say, bro, you, you kind of do need to be a driver. For me, it's more so, I just kind of want to feel the power delivery. I mean, it's, it's, it's good enough feeling it in the passenger seat, especially with someone who knows his car. Though, isn't it? But it's different driving, as you say. And um, obviously the roads are a little bit damp and we want to keep things as safe as possible. So we're just going to go for it. But what I will say is I'm very impressed. It is like, it's like the total package. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It does every, the drivability, obviously, just the comfort levels and um, the looks too and everything. Of course. Power. Well, the thing I look at is the money I wanted to spend, the money I could have spent to what I wanted to achieve. Mm. Does that make sense? Uh, the money I spent, I could have put a little bit extra and gone for another maybe 50, 100 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we could have gone for fuel flex, one E85, done a, a complete run fuel map, you know what I mean, and just completely gone all out on it. But yeah. I wanted the drivability of the car. Yeah. Now I know in these sort of conditions, second and third is a bit slippy, but in, in, in dry, in yeah. the summer, it's, it's, it's perfect. Sick. 700 horsepower on top, I can change it to 400 if I want. Sick. So basically, we're just uh, gonna stay in uh, MDM. <laughs> right, hey, listen. No, no, right. I'm not trying to buy this off you, bro. You know what I mean? More <laughs> you know what I mean? No roof skids today, bro. Um, but yeah, so basically, in MDM, we just keep it in. Yeah, it does allow. It, to be fair, MDM's not that bad on this. It lets you kick a little bit. Uh, as I found out when I first bought it, I used to rate uh, Gap U. We used to go through roundabouts and that. Yeah. And I, I'm on the understanding that the M2 Com MDM is, is is a lot more linear than what the um, M3 M4 used to be. Okay. It, it allows it allows a bit more play. All right. Well, let's let's get a little feel. So we drop it down. So do you reckon second? Yeah, man. We go second. All right. Send it. Let's go for it. Spin it. Spin it. Tractor cutting in there hard. Yeah. Literally, it kicked out a little bit there. Traction actually intervened. Usually, yeah. it, it's like MDM gives you a little bit, lets you kind of nearly kick, kiss your ass goodbye, yeah. then it cuts in. But um, after that, bro, this thing's flying. This thing is, um, this thing's flying. And what I realised is how nice it feels. Like the, the, I'm putting like minor inputs in just yeah. to keep it straight. Keep it, straight. Like, it feels so dirty, like yeah. it's so direct. Yeah. Like the feel, like it's. Uh, it's not quite over. It's not stock suspension. Okay. I've got springs and spaces on it. But yeah. Uh, Mate, this feels special though, man. It feels tight. Yeah, M cars always do this though. Yeah. Like, and do you know like the, the prices of M cars, the newer ones are going up and up and up. Like, bro, it, they're crazy money, but you know what? I can kind of understand it because you're getting a lot of for your you money. Are, you, you know what I mean? You do get a lot, but yeah. obviously... Technically, but, in these M cars, you're not actually buying the car, you're buying the thought and the, the knowledge that goes into it. Does that make 100%, sense? 100%, 100% R&D and all that. Of course. Like, you know what I mean? This is heritage here. We're talking M cars, bro. We're talking M cars. All right, let's do a little third gear, Paul. Let's see how it goes. 5,000 RPM. Spin in. Spin a little bit. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, that's mad. That's mad. That is mad. It is lively though, isn't it? Yeah. It's proper lively. But it's, bro, it just, it, it kind of, a little bit of correction and you're staying straight. Of course. You're staying straight and it is applying the, the power. Power's, the, power the power's strong, but it's linear. Yeah. So you're, you're, not, you're not finding yourself. That's the word. That is like everyone knows my favourite word anyway. The linear. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. It's, it's just it's drivability. Yeah, one hundred percent. And going back to it, that's what you want with a lot of power going to the rear wheels. Like you know what I mean.
Yeah. I drove through there, but the whole time I'm feeling the yeah, black line. Like, 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 you think he'd do it? I'll keep it in. I see a wet patch. I was like, I was like, oh, <laughs> I ain't got a gun handle. Oh my god. Fuck him. It just feels like the power delivery like it's meant to be. It yeah. doesn't feel like it's been molested. It's stock. Just because it, yeah. It, it's fast, like it, but yeah, stock, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's such a, it doesn't feel turbo. No. That's, that's, that's how crazy it is, like, you know what I mean? It almost has a It doesn't drop off. Health. No, that's, no. That's what, like, you don't get to five and a half and you start feeling slugging. Top end, sixth gear, it just keeps pulling. Yeah. It just keeps pulling. Fuck it. How fast you're going when you come off the throttle because yeah. you get a recoil. Yeah, you realize really, you, yeah. you don't realize you're pinned until you, until you come forward, like you know. So, yeah, guys, serious, serious car, man. Serious car. I can understand why it's one of the fastest in the UK. It's, yeah, uh, very fast, very, very fast. I'm waiting for a proper nice dry day, low temp. I'll try and do that sub five. Oh, you got it, you got it. I reckon if you're doing that that kind of time, you're one hundredth of a second, one hundredth of a second off the fastest time in this my, weather. That was my ninth run as well in this uh, car yeah, ever. Yeah. So right, you're smashing. If I had a bit more R&D on it. Yeah, no, you'll smash it. You'll smash it. Alright guys, so we're going to end the video here. Today has been an eye opener. Funnily enough, this is the first M2. I want to say, I, yes, it's the first M2 I've had on the channel doing a feature on. Right, okay. Definitely the first um, M2 comp. Uh, it's what's been a pleasure. It Thank you. Bro? Safe, as always, <laughs> as always. And also, guys, the funny thing is, like, I know Lou from before this. Like, he's an absolute nut. If you've ever seen a video when we're at Terminal Velocity, you've yeah. got super bikes and everything yeah, too. Yeah, super bikes. Yeah, and he's usually on the uh, one wheel. On the one wheel. Yeah, that, that was a mental. That was, oh that my, was, that was a good crazy. Day. Um, yeah, he, he's a proper driver, proper sound guy too, and um, what an experience. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Thank you very much. You want to tell people where they can find you? Yes, uh, Instagram, uh, Lou Fraser Howes. Uh, shout out to Warren at WG. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to clout and say one's better than the other, but he's always helped me out. Can't knock him, doesn't take the nick with the money side of it. So, yeah. big shout out to Warren there, top guy. Uh, Brad at Day One Detailing. Oh, he's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I picked it up from his to, to come today because it did need doing, and he's done an outstanding job. Yeah. So, also, Brad, big shout out to him. Wicked. Well, guys, I'll leave links to everyone he said in the description yeah, uh, so you can find them. And um, yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, smash that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Over and out.